Hey everyone, I hope you had a lovely weekend and welcome back to another Monday Plan With Me. So this week I'm using a kit from Planning Roses and I'm going to leave her link down in the description box. I bought this in the Black Friday sale, so here's the sampler that came with the kit. And then here are all of your gorgeous full boxes. You've got your headers, checklists, page flags and icons, half boxes and a ton of functional text. You've got your checklists and some quarter boxes at the bottom and then a functional page of your littles and your habit trackers and your washi and your washi strips. So I'm going to start with the washi and by now you guys know the drill. I'm going to put the washi down and then trim off whatever's overhanging using my scissors and I always keep hold of the washi but this time I'm definitely going to be using it so I'm just sticking it back onto the sheet. When I was trimming my washi off I kind of panicked because there's no next week it kind of goes into February and I haven't filmed my February monthly yet because my kit hasn't arrived even though I ordered it back in December it's still not here so I do need to chase that up and then I realized the first isn't actually until Thursday so I can chill out a little bit <laughs> This kit doesn't come with any date covers so I took the washi that I trimmed from the bottom and I'm just going to create my own. So I'm just sticking it under the dates and then writing the days of the week. This way the date covers along the top matches the washi at the bottom and it all just looks really cohesive. So now we can go in day by day and the first thing I'm going to do is put a piece of washi down with a Plan With Me Monday sticker that comes with the kit and then I just moved it down a little bit because I felt like it was too close to the top. Underneath there I took a half box with a Get Some Grocery sticker which also came with the kit and I just wrote down online because I find it easier sometimes just to get my shopping online and it gets delivered straight to my door. The full box I'm using came up with the sampler from the Black Friday sale. And then I'm just creating my to-do list, so I put a to-do header down with a checklist. And if you guys remember, last week I was saying my tumble dryer broke down, well I cannot fix it. So I need to buy a new one, so I'm just going to do a little shop around to see if I can find another one. My daughter is starting revising for exams, so I'm helping her out with that and obviously some other bits that I just want to get done throughout the day. I've also got a TV program on on Monday, which is Jane the Virgin. So moving on to Tuesday, I started with a thin piece of washi with a book first coffee sticker which is from my shop and then underneath there I just put a half box with a little happy poppet because I'm going up to the city to do some shopping. And I didn't like the way the pen was starting to write on the stickers, it just didn't feel very nice when I was writing it and it felt like it was starting to bleed. So I just picked up this pen here which is a normal ballpoint biro and even though it's not as dark as the pen I've been using I just decided to switch pens because I didn't want it to bleed everywhere through all the stickers. So I put my full box down and then I put a header down and I was about to put another checklist down but I didn't want two checklists next to each other so I just moved my header down and used one of the smaller heart checklists. The only problem with swapping to this pen is that I don't like my writing in it but it was better than it ruining all of the stickers so I just stuck with this one so my writing isn't as nice as it usually is. <laughs> I then took a quarter box with a poppet from the takeaway sheet as I was going to treat myself to some lunch at Pret, which is one of my favourite places to eat when I'm in the city. I do keep going back over the letters to make them a little bit darker so it's not too obvious that I've switched pens halfway through a spread, but for Wednesday I used a half box with a home life poppet as I'm doing a lot of housework on Wednesday morning. I put a full box down and a quarter box with a page flag and then underneath there I put a cutting sticker which is also from Planning Roses as I was going to do some printing and cutting while I'm doing housework. If you guys watch the video A Day in My Life then you kind of know what my Wednesday is going to look like. 
Underneath there I just took a work header with another checklist and I will just fill out everything that I want to print and cut on the morning. I've got two TV programs on, Jane the Virgin of course, and then me and my daughter have started watching reruns of Friends because everybody needs a bit of Ross and Rachel in your life. So flipping over to Thursday, I used two pieces of washi with a half box that I just flipped up onto its side. I do this quite a lot in my spreads just because I like the way it looks and it adds like a different box if you like into my spread. And then I used the laptop sticker and a coffee poppet because I was going to chill out on Thursday morning, have some me time with coffee and catch up with all of my social media. Underneath I put a half box with a to-do header and just wrote down revision notes as I want to get a lot of revision things out for my daughter and get everything ready for her to do a session of reviving. So if you follow me on Instagram which is LJS Plans then you will probably see some pretty revision notes pop up on my feed. I put my full box down with a rubbish bin sticker that comes with a kit to remind myself to take the bins out and then underneath there I'm just putting a quarter box with a box icon as I'm due some happy mail. Hopefully it will be my February monthly kit and then I can film that and make sure it goes up on time so cross your fingers for me. For Friday I started with a large page flag and a car icon as I'm going to pick my nan up and we are going to be spending the day together. So after I've picked her up, we've decided to go out for some lunch. So I just took a half box and a little love poppet and just wrote down lunch. And we're going to one of my favourite cafes and it's called the Broken Egg. After lunch, we're going to come back home and we're going to watch some old movies. So I just took a quarter box with the little film icon. put down my full box and then I suddenly realised that I had forgotten something really important to put down on Wednesday so I just hopped back over to Wednesday put quarter box down with a reminder header as there wasn't an important header in the kit and I just put down parents evening like if I would have forgotten to go to that I would have been the worst parent in the world so I've put that in we can move back on to Friday so for Friday I put a quarter box down just to write down that I needed to take my nan home and then underneath there I used a piece of washi that matched the full box because I want to film a next week's plan with me. So on some of her kits she has these kind of hidden washi strips which I actually love and I'm just making a background for my weekend banner. To make sure it's wide enough I'm just using the same washi from the washi strip sheet and just creating a little box for the weekend banner to sit on top of. I love this weekend banner with a little cactus, I think it's so cute. Underneath I'm just putting a large page flag with a heart icon to remind myself that my partner will be working on Saturday. I'm just creating my today to-do list, today to-do list, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> I took another quarter box with a little mug icon because I would like to edit the plan with me that I filmed on the Friday. And then I just finished it off with a full box. Moving on to Sunday, I just used the study sticker that came with the freebie. I then put my full box down and then I'm just creating my to-do list which is my usual checklist of getting things ready for school on Monday. Moving on to the sidebar, I used a full box at the top to cover the calendar and her weekly habits come in a box so I've decided to track four things this week. I used some washi to separate the trackers and my next week section. I used the same washi at the bottom and then my last full box.
And then I had completely forgotten to put in my little things for Thursday and Friday, so I'm just going to quickly add the TV programmes in that I have got. I also quickly filled in my next week section and like I said I'm going to try and track four things in my sidebar this week which are Instagram, Etsy, my face which is like my daily moisturiser and homework. Here's everything I've got left after doing this week's spread. I really like how the spread turned out this week. Even though I've got no deco, I kind of don't miss it in this spread. I don't know why, maybe because the boxes are so pretty on their own. If you guys like this spread and this plan with me, make sure you give me a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As usual, I hope you all have a lovely week and I will see you all on Monday. Bye guys!